What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with High Q, episode 11. I'm excited for this training camp. We're about to go. We ended up beating the Neighborhood Association. We had Ukai thinking about who he's going to start, who he's going to bench. I know that has to play a role into this episode. It's why it's called Decision, but I'm excited. If you guys want to see the full length of this episode and early access, check out that Patreon down below. Definitely follow me on Twitch and on Twitter, but I say we hop right on into this. Uh, High Q, episode 11, Decision. Shoot. Shoot. Drill it in your minds. <laughs> That's hilarious. You can't go wrong with the training montage, bro. Like putting in that work. It's just and I've never seen volleyball drills by themselves, so this shit is awesome. Of course, Nishi no and Tonic and Tonic are so sad. Oh, hey, Kyoko, that's her name, right? They've been rejuvenated with life. Wow, that looks delicious. Itadakimas. What does that mean? Am I watching Monster now or High Q? What up, Nishinoya? I'm saying. I have not seen Asahi without his fucking ponytail. He looks like a goddamn monster. <laughs> That's hilarious. ステ。試合のメンバーでお悩みですか。セッタに迷う。菅原の強みが1年の時から気づいてきたエースとの連携だとしても、影山はその時間すらあっという間に飛び越えてしまうような才能を持っている。There's a lot to think about. I've never thought about this when it comes to picking players, you know? Go out on a good note? I mean... Ah, uh, あああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ
It's a good way to relate to each other. There's a little bonding sesh. They both are lacking in certain areas and they want to overcome those obstacles together. I respect that. What, fucking Kenma? Yeah, I knew he was Nekoma. I said it. Oh, man. I'm excited to go against Nekoma already, bro. <laughs> Why does the game do this to me? Ooh. Gonna have a conversation about it. He's got to understand a little bit what Ukai is thinking and feeling. Yeah, he's got to understand a little bit what is yeah, this mentality, this mindset is nothing. You won't see this in any other guy. And Ukai respects it. He respects him on a character level. Oh, of course, Asahi and Daichi are listening to. Damn. I love this fucking team, man. I love this squad. Oh, so much. It's fucking crazy. Bro, how is this guy still this fucking cool? I didn't like he was by far my least favorite of the three in the first episode, but like I can't even choose a favorite now. I understand that. Just for fun versus a huge competitive you know, I get it. I'll tell these guys, man, respect. To leave something and to have the guts to come back takes a lot. Hell yeah. Hi. Osu! Get an official Osu from me. Because he's a liberal, right? He can't do any, any attacks. Yeah, by a lot. Because he's the only one with certain limitations. I learned that from watching some other Haikyuu reactors. Shouts out you guys. Black Zone, RGTV. Come on. He got the little giant's number? Oh, that is fucking dope. They had an outstanding team. Yep. We have. I like that. They have an overall just well balanced greatly strong cohesive team whereas we have individual gods you know yeah and shout out oh, the guy with the mohawk looks cool oh there he is there he is yamamoto i wonder why that could be Maybe because he met a certain character. Yamamoto. I always like this music because it means fucking rivals or opponents are coming up. Karasuno Nekoma. Battle of the Dumpster. Cats vs. Crows. In terms of action, wasn't too much, you know, crazy. It was mainly, it was like all set up, 100% set up, but it was set up so that these next episodes are gonna be A1 fucking primo, fantastic. I am very happy with the amount of, like, I mentioned this in a couple other episodes and I read a lot of the comments. You guys, a lot of you were saying, Q is really good with side characters. And I said, I put them in air quotes because they're not really side characters. And like I said it in the other video, it's like a real, world that's been built to where you're going to visit somebody else and just because i'm the protagonist technically they're a side character but they have their own life they have their own motivation motivations ambitions dreams goals everything like it's very set it's like it's very realistic and i appreciate that so much like 
like we literally i've known kenma for fucking 10 minutes and i already like him i already know a little bit about it you know him he he's not interested he's a very not lazy but doesn't have passion or motivation in his life and he only does this for his friends yet his friends also appreciate him for that like uh yamamoto uh kuro you know i like kuro he seems like a wild guy he's like you guys are talking about that shrimp over there he's the backbone and heart of our team like oh man i like these characters and i met him for fucking five minutes you know like yamamoto i literally have seen him for three minutes and he already reminds me he reminds me of the fucking tanaka of their team and i love tanaka so i'm so i'm not gonna be surprised if i like him um but i'm excited for this match i'm excited for ukai sugawara is literally blowing my mind with how mature he is you will never see people that are willing to take even the slightest bit of humiliation or anything like this if it means improving for the team's sake if he deserves that ticket more than me, make him do it, you know, without hesitation. Don't even try to do that because of my feelings. Fuck my feelings. We need to win. We're a team. Like, I respect Sugawara so much for that shit. That is some real ass shit. But let me write down episode 12 because that's what I'm about to watch. We're about to hop in there. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know what you think down below. I appreciate you. If you guys are not subbed, Subscribe, join that notification gang. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hi Q, episode 12. Have a great day, y'all.